Hi everyone. I have just have a really quick word. I think today it's going to be really quick. Um, I spent some time with the Lord and I'm really exhausted. It seems like when I spend time with the Lord, my energy is just like sucked out of me. But anyway, um, I just, I thought I was done and I just kept hearing, uh, Satan comes as an angel of light. And I kept hearing, do not be deceived. God is not mocked. I don't even know where to begin. I'm not trying to be judgy. And God forgive me if I am. But when I see people say that they're prophets, they talk about God, they preach the word, and they're just chugging down their margaritas, chugging down their alcohol, smoking their dope. I mean, I know we're I, I know we're an imperfect people. I'm imperfect. I make mistakes every day. But it, I, I just feel this conviction in my heart, like God is saying, do not be conformed to the world or anything in the world. We need to be separate from God. I mean, I, I'm sorry, separate from the world. We need to be with God, but separate from the world. Well, that was a big mistake. I didn't mean to say that. Sorry, you guys. It's kind of embarrassing that I said that. Anyway, well, you know what I mean. So I just kept hearing Satan comes as the angel of light. And he's the great deceiver. And he comes and he says, I'm, the pro I'm a prophet. He speaks through people. I'm a prophet. I come from God. I pray the word, I speak the word, I give the scriptures. Well, Satan, Satan knows the scriptures. Satan knows the Bible better than we do. He comes as the great deceiver. And you guys, if, <clears throat> if you can share, tap the bell, subscribe, that would be great. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm not going to ask you for money. I'm not going to shame you. I'm not going to guilt you. I'm not going to make you feel bad. <clears throat> um, God's my provider. Now, there are certain people I love to give money to because I can tell their heart is pure. But some people are just begging and begging and demanding for, for us to give them money. But anyway, that's another subject. That's another later subject. But I kept hearing God keep saying to me, Satan comes as an angel of light. And we listen to people. And God says, is anybody going to listen to me? Seriously, is anybody going to listen to God? Why are we going to people for our advice? Why can't we go to the Lord for our advice and our help and our time of trouble? We should be going to God in Jesus name, the blood of Jesus. Why are we going to man? Man is deceptive. Man lies. I'm not speak. I'm not saying all the prophets are, you know, speaking from the flesh. I'm not saying the prophets, all the prophets are deceiving you. But when you see their life not matching up to their ministry, that's a big red flag to run, run like the wind. And I'm like, Lord, do I have to drink and smoke dope and live a worldly lifestyle for my channel to grow? I mean, seriously. 
do I? And I, I'm like, Lord, and I'm not even envious. I'm just like kind of blown away because I'm seeing people, they're grow, their channels are growing significantly and they're cussing, screaming, yelling, drinking, effing it up. I'm like, Lord. And the Lord's like, do not be deceived. God is not mocked. We can't mock God. We can't say we are from God, but yet we mock him by what we're doing on social media and YouTube and Facebook, or I call it fake book, because all social media is propaganda. It, it gets people to be sucked into the world, sucked in to all their lies, and we get so sucked in. We buy their products. We do everything they say. We obey people. We don't be obey God. We obey people. We go, well, you know, John said that. Susan said that. So we got to do it. No. What did God say? What did God tell you? What did God say to you? Not what did those people say? If you want advice, go to God. Go to the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus, Yeshua. Don't go to man for your answers. There's people on YouTube, come to my channel. Uh, I will lead you down the right path. I will take you where I want you to go. I will take you financially where you need to go. Go to God in the name of Jesus. Go to the Lord. Don't go to man. You guys, if I would have went to man for everything in my life, I'd be living on a corner of a street. I'd be completely broke, sick, or even dead. If I would have listened to people, I wouldn't even be here right now. I would not even be here right now. Seriously. What are people thinking? And uh, now a lot of these people are going, well, you know, I don't know why it's not happening. I don't know why the wealth transfer is not happening. I don't know what's going on. We just got to trust God. I mean, they're going to be brought to their knee. Everybody's going to be brought to their knees no matter who you are. The rug is going to be pulled out right from underneath you. Right when you think you stand, you fall. Pride comes before a fall in a haughty spirit. Pride is evil. Pride is sent from hell. Satan was thrown out of heaven because of pride. Because he wanted to be better than God. He wanted to be worshipped and idolized. And he wanted to be above God. And God's like, no. God threw him out of heaven. He was one of God's most beautiful angels. He was thrown out of heaven. And he was thrown into the pit. You guys, this is serious. Tap the bell, share, subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm going to speak the truth. I'm not going to be popular. I'm not going to hang out and drink margaritas with you and uh, become friends with the world. I'm probably not going to be liked. People aren't going to like me because people hate the truth. People hate the truth nowadays. We live in a world and a society where people hate the truth. And the Bible says the truth will set you free. Don't you want to be free indeed? Don't you want to be free in God? Anyway, you guys, I'm just, I thought I was done for the day. I spent time with the Lord. I write down what God speaks to me. Sometimes he gives me prophecies. Um, And it was weird because this morning I seen myself pushing this big, huge mountain side. And I was trying to push it and push it. And God said, you can't push that. That's, that's a big, huge mountain rock. It's, it's in the ground. You can't push that. 
And I was like, Lord, I'm tired. I'm exhausted. How much longer do people have to suffer and keep going the way we're going? And God said, walk around the mountain. You're trying to push it. You can't push this. It's too big for you. If you walk around and trust me, I will get you out of this situation. And God's people are trying to push the mountains. They're trying to push these big boulders and rocks. And you're not going to get, you're not going to be able to do it. And we keep falling for the lies. We keep falling for the deception. People are leading us into hell. If we continue to listen to people, we're going to go straight to the pit of hell. You know, we got to read the Bible. God was even convicting me, you know, get in the Bible, get in the Bible. And because I went for days without. And when I was going through a lot of trauma and, you know, sadness, it was really hard. Sorry, I'm emotional, but so many people are getting deceived by people on YouTube and Facebook and Instafame and TikTok. They probably call it TikTok because it's like, you know, TikTok, TikTok, open your brain. I don't know why, you know. And the people that are leading, are doing, you know, have all these corporations they're all satanic they're all demonic people they're all satanists and we're following these people into the darkness into the pit of hell and i'm not saying everybody on social media is bad i'm not saying everybody's bad but we have to be discerning and i won't name names but there's people on YouTube that are leading people to hell. I love the Lord. He's amazing. He's my God. And they're slurping down huge margaritas this big. One after another, one after another. God says, do not be conformed to the world. We are supposed to be separate from the world. We're not supposed to be of this world. And if you are living like the world, the love of the Father is not in you. God is not a God that would lie. All right, you guys, this is really heavy. And I can't even take it. <laughs> I can't even handle it. Anyway, I love you guys. And I'm just saying, spend time with God. Build your relationship with the Lord. I don't have any big revelation. Our, the wealth transfer is done. It's finished. We just have to wait. I mean, this red light is lasting forever, you know? When you're at, okay, when you're at a, a red light, and I, I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but it's happened to me many times. I would stop at the red light. There would be nobody on the roads. This would be late at night. This was years back. And I would sit there and wait for the light to turn green and it never turned green. And it would go through the process, you know, then that the right side would change, then the left and the lights in front of me. And I'd still be sitting there. And the light continued to stay red. And I never got to go. And that's what it's been like for us. And that's what it's been like for the wealth transfer. We're still sitting at the red light waiting to go. Everything's finished. Everything's done. Everything's complete. 
But you guys, they want to wear us down to where we're crawling on the ground like someone who's dehydrated. They want us beat down. They want us discouraged. They want us to give up. They want us hopeless. They want us helpless. Do not give up. Never, ever give up. That's what God told me this morning. Never, ever, ever, ever give up. No matter how weak you feel, no matter how discouraged, no matter how hopeless you feel, God says, never give up. Never give up. Fight the good fight of faith. Fight the enemy. You're in a battle. We're in a war. They want us disintegrated. They, they want us gone. All right, you guys, I'm going to pray. In the name of Jesus, I pray, God, you would bless every person watching this video. I pray, Father, that you would hear their prayers, that you would come to them quickly, that you would show up for them in their time of need. I pray every need would be met above and beyond what they could ever think or imagine. I pray financial blessing would just pour out upon them. I pray you would release Gassara Nasara. Gasara, Nasara. I pray you would release the reclamation and restitution payments. I pray you would release the wealth transfer. Release it, God, in the name of Jesus. And Father, we give you the praise and the glory and honor. Wash all the people with the blood of Jesus that are watching this video. Bless their homes. Cause them to prosper. Continue to bless them and bring them and their families and their children's children's children into the kingdom of God. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Thank you, guys. Thank you for how you just, those faithful ones that watch my video, like, share, subscribe. And sorry I got so emotional just the Lord came on me and I get emotional when the Lord just really is speaking to my heart and there's somebody out there that is just like I, I just want to give up I don't see nothing I can't even take this anymore and I happen to be one of those people <laughs> And you've even thought of suicide, like, but then you go, well, that you think of it, but then you're like, well, that's not going to solve anything. And God says, give it to him. He's going to turn your circumstances around and it's going to be soon. And he's saying, don't give up on you, your wife or your family. I feel like this is a male. I feel like when he gets to work, he's thinking these things. And he's like, you know, I'm just better off not being here. What am I doing for my family? I'm just making, nothing's really happening. Life is, you know, boring. It's mundane. Um, it's just, nothing's happening. And God says, if you will trust me, if you will trust me, I am going to turn your life around. Your, your wife's heart is going to turn around and, and draw closer to me. And I will draw you together as a couple, as a wife and husband, as a marriage. I will turn your family around and you will see the glory of God. You will see your prayers being answered. You will see your life change. And God says, I'm going to turn your life around. Do not give up. Sorry, you guys. I'm just kind of. Uh, do not give up <clears throat> in this hour. Do not give up in this season. God says, call out to me and I will answer you and you will see me like you've never seen me before. And God, I feel like God's saying this is a male. And God says, you've thought these thoughts many times. You were at work when you were thinking of them. And God says, rebuke them out of your mind, rebuke those thoughts. And God says, I'm going to come into your life. I'm going to turn your life around and you will know me and see me like you've never known me or seen me ever in your life. And God says, trust me, 
It's going to happen. Trust me, I'm coming to you in this hour. All right, you guys. Have a blessed day. Bye. God bless you guys. Bye.